Hey guys, just making a quick video to show you what's happened with my on the printer. Usually, the problem we come across when printing is that we the parts don't stick to our, our heated beds. Where this one, this is after I managed to pry it off because this part here stuck to the bed still, and I've 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 broken the glass. In the, and I've also broken the Stanley blade which I use to pry this off a of bed if it is difficult you can see on this part I've actually damaged it a touch so how how has this happened and I can actually tell you how when printing parts for my printer this is a X carriage Bowden hot end holder I pr always print them in 100% infill, but when I do that, I normally, when I print in 100% infill, if there's a small part as well, like this, just in the centre of the bed, I print it with a bed temperature of 30 degrees normally, Celsius, and that keeps it fine. But with bigger parts, I print with 50 degree bed temperature, so I actually forgot to change it back down to 30 and now this 100% infill part is stuck to the bed as you can see there's just no getting it off there that one I managed to pry off the corner of this I've damaged from trying to lift it off and keep breaking the Stanley blade so this firm hold hairspray the cheap stuff is really firm hold along with a nice heated bed temperature your parts will stick but then stick so well adhere so well to the bed that you can't get them back off and I've spoiled my weekend a bit because I plan I had loads of plans to print loads of parts can't get this off the bed and now I have to buy a new glass plate because this one is as you can see if I unclip this that's one part and there's the other part with my part attached I've got a couple of solutions to try and get this off now so let's go and try the, the solutions I should have tried before breaking my print remover and breaking my bed so now I'm going to try and remove this print so I can possibly fix the bed up you know just clamp them like that and try and print apart no more damage Now I'm back, couldn't get the part off there, so I'm going to have to now line all my parts up to print on this sheet of glass here. Oh. Which will hopefully do a job until the new piece I've ordered turns up. So let's um, get on with printing. <laughs> 